Hello, what is up? For, oh gosh, three, four years now, I've been trying to uh, make resin work with this mold. And every time I try, I've done videos on it. This is amazing mold putty, and it works terrible with resin. And I, I've done videos on it, I've done comparisons, and people, every time I make one of these videos or I say anything about it, I get messages from people who tell me to try different, um, like, mold releases. I don't have any mold release. And I didn't really want to invest in any because I use other mold materials now and I just didn't need it but just to satisfy my curiosity and my uh, my hard wired need for facts I decided to try some of these remedies that people insist work one is Vaseline like, these are all supposed to work as mold releases for uh, mold putty like this, amazing mold putty, or for candy molds, or things that really don't work well uh, traditionally with resin. So I'm going to try it. Vaseline is one. Armorol is another. WD-40 is another. And believe it or not, cooking spray. This is butter flavored. I hope that will not have any impact on the experiment but that's what I had. So I'm going to use butter butter flavored cooking spray, you know the oil that you spray in your pan. So I'm going to treat these molds. Each one is going to get a different treatment. I've got some resin mixed up and I'm going to pour four of these using this stuff as a mold release and see if any of them work with amazing mold putty. I am not, I, I tried Armorol a long time ago. Didn't work at all. So, but I'll try it again. Just to satisfy this debate and my sense of curiosity and need for facts. Uh, that's it. So, I'm going to just spray a little in there and swirl it around and see how by tomorrow these should all be cured and we'll have our big reveal. <laughs> Don't it all over me. Ugh, yuck. I need some paper towel. I will get some paper towel. Yeah, sop this up. Put these in line here. First was the cooking spray, and then was the Vaseline, and then was the WD-40, and then was this disgusting armor all that's blocking my light. I'll leave it over here. And... Yuck. Ugh. This stuff is everywhere. Gross. Alright. Pour the resin. Not real hopeful about this, but doesn't hurt to try. Oop, that mold is not made well. It's really lopsided. Okay. WD-40. 
cooking spray, Armor All, Armor All, cooking, uh, WD-40, Vaseline, cooking spray. This is very scientific, totally scientific. So in the morning, I'll come back, yank each one of these out, and see how, uh, how well they work. Okay? Bye. Okay, I'm back. We're ready to see this. Now I'll start with, this one is the Pam Kitchen Spray. <laughs> it's coming right out of there. Well, sort of, kind of. Um, it's a little frosty. Doesn't like the kitchen spray much. But if I was going to uh, coat this, paint it or something, I'd be fine. This one is the Vaseline. Oh, came right out of there. I have to clean this up with um, a dish soap or something. Let's see how that goes. I'll be back with that. This one is WD-40. Uh, no. See, at least a frosty, frosty finish. Not happy. And this one is Armor All, the car stuff. That's really sticking. Yeah, that didn't want to come out at all. Terrible finish. So, all in all, Vaseline, a real thin coat, seemed to work okay out of all these products. I'll clean it up, take a picture, and show you at the end. That's it. I'm, I might make another video today. <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Stay happy and inspired. Okay? Bye.